hello hello so what do you do when you're bored and you have uh, 100 reals and you say to yourself I want to see what is the cheapest Android phone that I can buy in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia so recently that was um, obviously I was very bored <coughs> And uh, I had 100 reals and I went to look for a Android phone for less than 100 reals and I came across this on Sook.com. This is the Samsung Galaxy Pocket Neo and this cost me uh, 68 reals. So that was uh, 68 um, reals for uh, Samsung phone running uh, Android and I've, I've completely forgotten which version of Android so let me just run down the specs for you and I did look at GSM Arena um, because it has a 3 inch screen and my glasses are not with me which is 240 by 340 um, resolution so it's not um, uh, super HD but actually for the site because the screen's so small it doesn't look that bad it's a 2 megapixel single camera here um, it has 512 megabytes of RAM and has a 1200 uh, milliamp hour battery um, single SIM and uh, this one comes with 4 GB of internal memory and you can uh, if I remember rightly how do you get into it again let me just uh, uh, here it is if I can remember I'll just uh, pull the battery out yeah yeah you can put in um, a memory card here I think and let me put my glasses on I think it's only single sim but I'm not sure what does it say here uh, you, uh, yep. Single SIM, yeah, single SIM, and here you can put in a, a memory card. Sorry, my eyes are getting really, 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 really bad. I mean, I'm having to use the old M um, all the time uh, these days. Um, so, yeah, that's the insides of it single SIM and. Um, uh, you could put in a memory card so of course this is just a bit of fun really for me to do to see what one could buy uh, um, smartphone wise with that um, amount of um, money uh, but I suppose <coughs> uh, there's um, this would do it, a lot of people you know this is a smartphone enough it gives you access to the Android um, ecosystem some basic uh, apps it's not a speed demon of course but uh, for people who are really just very occasionally using it smartphone function and mostly using a uh, phone as a phone then it could be um, I mean well for that price it's like you know nothing um, there's more expensive uh, dumb phones on soup.com uh, I'm not sure now I bought this a couple of weeks ago so it may have been on an offer or something um, and I didn't check recently to see if um, it was still available uh, just let it um, cause I don't remember the version of um, Android it's quite a uh, it's not a, a, obviously a recent version but let me just tell you if I can find it here um, let me see display what, where do we find out about um about device okay this is uh, android 4.1.2 okay um can't remember what that one was was that um ice cream sandwich or something i can't remember it seems that long ago um uh, 
let's see I wanted to just double check that one other thing so we can obviously it's attached to my network I have a Bluetooth it really, really has everything um, that one would need to get through your um, uh, working day now uh, okay that's why I was going through there um, I did watch YouTube on it um, let me see if it opens because I, I think I had to update it or do something because it wouldn't work originally um, but let's see if it works here if it opens um, so <clears throat> I mean basically I was just thinking that this is a bit of fun I'm not going to have any um, uh, network error oh there we go let's see saying connected now connected to my that is my thing my Wi-Fi my fi thing right come on yeah so obviously I bought this as a bit of fun but um, then I um, thought um, what I could use it for let's see um, and I'm going on vacation uh, soon let me see if it's signed in my account I don't remember I'm going on um, uh, vacation soon and um, I the phone that I'm using as my daily driver is a single SIM and I'm going to take this and put my STC SIM card in it because I do need to keep my STC one going because of um, what do you call it uh, I need um, so let, uh, access for obviously bank transactions and stuff like that so I need my, my Saudi SIM so I'm going to take it, it's very small, it will just throw in somewhere and just use it for uh, that so actually the 68 reals it's going to have um, uh, an actual use because as I say this phone that I'm filming stuff on which is I haven't done a review of yet which I'm going to maybe do next week is um, is only single sim because it came from America let's see we get this uh, playing come on let's see some uh, okay I don't know if it's the internet connection could be the internet connection slow well let's see I'm looking at here and I'm thinking that the Oh, I mean, it's my internet connection. Actually, the picture's not bad. Um, I mean, it still looks better when I have my glasses on. Um, the picture is not bad, but look, I mean, of course, this would only be, I would imagine, for some very um, uh, limited uh, YouTubeness. Okay, uh, one wouldn't be um, watching some. Uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy on it I don't suppose um, I'm, I'm always when I'm thinking back um, about certain phones that um, what's this one let's see what this one is uh, phones in the past and um, I'm, I'm hey guys what's up this is Sword of and welcome to my YouTube channel one? on Max so here we have the first group at the this is guy reviewing Huawei some. Honor 8X and 8X Max. Huawei. The Honor 8X and 8X Max will be the first. So I mean, you could use it. I mean, you can Huawei. use it. It's um relatively. It's fine. 68 reals. I I mean, what I was trying to say was um when we think about um our, our past um smartphones and actually the phone I had when the iPhone 3G was out, I can remember it was an LG. I think it was the LG Cookie. This the the um, that phone couldn't have had much bigger of a screen than this, and it seemed that um, the iPhone 3G had uh, to me seemed like a massive screen. And then I went on and got the 
um, thinking I got the uh, was it the 3GS and thinking it was really massive screen but I mean when you look at the size of 3GS now um, it's not really that big at all um, so at one time it was uh, I had an LG I can't remember the name of the the, the phone and it was a, it was a dumb phone but it was very small I mean really it was a lot even smaller than this and that seemed to be the cool thing to have the smallest of the small um, phones uh, there was an even a Siemens phone that I really liked it was a kind of like a, uh, you um, it wasn't a clamshell but it's you could flip this and the uh, uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, the um, you could flip it a bit and it would open up the home button, etc. So um, that is uh, having a small screen was um, uh, you know a, a, a cool thing. Uh, of course, now everything has gone the other way and it's all uh, we're all going for big screens. But anyway. Um, I, I put my SIM card in it when I originally bought it and I was actually surprised the uh, call quality was fine it was tinny but it was fine um, uh, and I, again this is going to have a real use for me so for 68 reals it will have a real use now 12 um, the the battery look, I, I'm not going to tell you how long it's going to last cause I haven't a clue uh, but again I'm only going to be using it I could turn it off and on but really because I only um will be <coughs> it's it's kind of uh, also when you're abroad um, and getting messages I, we get messages with uh, our bank any transactions going on your ATM or your credit card so just in case there's any issues of skimming or, or you're having any security things it's is really handy to have these um, messages being sent so it's going to work out cool for me um, and um, so for that 68 reals I think it was worth it so that's really all I wanted to say about this um, phone it was just a, a bit of fun um, I've looked at some other phones that uh, that were from the past uh, that I was happy at the time when I got them and I thought it'd be like a, a bit of fun also to kind of do a throwback uh, and do a quick review I know it's 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 very common now people are, are kind of looking back on their older phones and doing um, throwbacks um, but I mean for me it's quite interesting because I, I've I really got into technology and uh, uh, mostly like tablets um, cell phones and stuff like that and at the time uh, when I was uh, other phones were out I wasn't really that into them I mean I liked a decent phone but I wasn't really that into them it kind of came after my first Android phone I suppose that's when I started getting into uh, more seriously so it'd be interesting to do a few videos I'm hoping some people will watch it anyway this was just a really a bit of fun okay so this was 68 reals from Sook.com, the cheapest Android phone I could buy on the day. Samsung Pocket Neo. Bye.